There's no word to describe it. There's no word to describe it. There's no word to describe it. I'm just grateful to be alive another day, man. I'm just grateful to be alive another day. Yeah, uh-huh. I could be dead, right? Or I could be in bed. Instead, I'm here. And this is a gift. This is not only a gift. This is the greatest honor of my life. So I'm grateful to be alive another day. Yeah, and my story begins with God. My story begins with God. Because gratitude is all I got. My story begins with God. Because gratitude is all I got. I begin and end my day with gratitude. Because gratitude is the attitude. Gratitude is the key. It's the key to the universe. Gratitude is the key that opens the door to abundance. Okay? Abundance is a frequency. And gratitude is the key. <laughs> you will only feel blessed if you express gratitude first. You gotta appreciate something in order to feel blessed. It's not the other way around. That's the only way you can feel blessed is if you're grateful first. All right? It is what it is. Let me ask you something. Can I ask you something? Do you mind? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Have fun? Good? Okay, awesome, awesome. Glad to hear, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that somebody's, you know, enjoying their life around here. Because they don't want you, if you, you know, if you know what I'm saying, they don't want you. They don't even, they don't even want you to speak. You see, they, they left me in the dark. <laughs> they left me in the dark, but they was failing to realize that I was the light. They left me in the dark, but they were failing to realize, they were failing to realize a lot of things. They left me in the dark, but they failed to realize that I was the light. They buried me. But they didn't know I had the power to resurrect. So now, they're just all scared running around shit. You know gonna ask me how my weekend was? Oh, okay. Oh, it was good, it was good, it was good. I mean, I haven't had a weekend off since 2020. Uh-huh. I haven't had a weekend off since 2020. And you know, maybe maybe in 2025 I, I get a weekend up, but you know, this is easy and anybody can do this. Nobody's doing it, right? But ah, this is a piece of cake, piece of cake. You see, I have no tripod, I have no computer, I have no equipment. I have zero moral support from everybody that I know. Zero moral support from everybody that I know. But for some reason, I, I always make shit happen. You know why? Because I have no excuses. I have no excuses. I say I have no computer. I have no equipment. I have no tripod. I have nothing. I have nothing. But I have no excuses either. You feel me? Winners don't make excuses. And winners don't mind, winners don't mind losing either. Winners don't mind losing. Because when you lose, you learn. There is no such a thing as losing. You're only gathering information. Right? You're only ga gathering data. Right? That's what, that's what losing is. There's no such a thing as losing if you know how to learn, if you learn from your mistakes. Now, losers don't know how to lose because they don't, they don't want to see, <laughs> they don't want to be seen for what they are because they don't have what it takes to upset when they're wrong. You feel me? They don't have what it takes to say, oh shit, I didn't know. How can I do it better? They don't have that. They don't have that because in their mind, they know it all already. They, they got it all figured out. They got it all figured out. But my question is, if this narcissist Got it all figured out, right? If they know it all, why is it that you're getting an advice from the government, bro? Come on. Don't you have it all figured out? You should be, you know, doing your own thing. Uh-huh. Not being a slave to the system. Come on. So, I don't even know where that came from, but I'm, I'm not asking questions. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm an open channel. Somebody needed to hear it for sure. 
face the sun if you want to know what's going on follow the cycles of the moon and you're always going to be in tune Mother Nature is alive, where the hell you been? Mother Nature is alive, where the hell you been? You need to step outside, you need to step outside so you can feel the wind. I was not expecting, I was not expecting to ever feel this blessed. But all I did was to be grateful and God took care of the rest. The secret to manifestation is to act without expectation. You see, I'm, I'm acting, I'm taking action. I'm not acting because I'm not an actor, right? This is as real as it gets. This is as real as it gets. There's no, there's no, TV, there's no reality TV as real as this shit. That's for sure. So do me a favor and take off those 3D glasses, my dear. Take off those 3D glasses, my dear. This is no virtual reality. You're looking at the real deal. Moving on. As long as there's light within your soul, oh, I was saying, Act without expectation, okay? Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do, okay? Do what you gotta do. Stop limiting yourself, you see? There is no limits in my reality There is because there is no limits, okay? You're the only one that can limit yourself, right? So most people are afraid to do what they came here to do because first, they don't wanna be seen starting from the bottom. They wanna start from the middle. <laughs> they don't wanna be seen starting from the bottom, but you gotta start somewhere, right? They don't wanna be seen making mistakes. They don't want to be seen making mistakes. How many mistakes do I make? I, you know, I'm just, I'm just so used to it that... I just keep moving. There is no wisdom without mistakes. There is no wisdom without mistakes, okay? There is no wisdom without mistakes. Ah, oh, remember now. Thank you, God. There is no wisdom without mistakes, okay? There is no wisdom without mistakes. But in order for you to extract the wisdom, you need to accept when you're wrong. You need to accept when you're wrong so you can move on, right? Because if you're done, you're stuck in the same spot, thinking that you got it all figured out when you don't got shit figured out, when you don't even know what time it is. You feel me? You come here to be authentic. You come here to be you, okay? And you gotta be you your way. <laughs> you see all the trees, they, they grow different. They they're all the same, probably the same seed, right? But they all grow different, you know, one is taller, one is shorter, one is, you know? Uniqueness, uniqueness. That is what it's at, okay? Because first, you didn't come here to be perfect, you will never be perfect. You come here to feel good. You didn't come here to be perfect, you will never be perfect. You came here to feel good. You came here to feel it. And second, Life is not about being the best. Life is all about being unique, right? Because when you're unique, you are already unique, right? It's not, it's not about being better than anybody. You're unique and everybody is, right? How can you compare two things that are unique, that are different? There's no, there's not even point of like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> when you look at two things that, and they're both unique, how can you compare one to another if they're both unique? You feel me? It's not about, oh, this is better than this. No, that is just depending on on how people perceive it but that doesn't you see your value is internal internal my friend true value is internal true value is internal because when you're conscious about what you're doing right when you know what you're doing behind the scenes what you're doing behind the scenes because you see what you do when nobody's watching that's what defines you what you do when nobody's watching you is what defines you so work so hard behind the scenes that when you show up to the scene like hey what's up i'm in the scene Work so hard behind the scenes that when you show up to the scene, your hard work shows, right? You don't gotta be fronting or acting or nothing like that, no, because you know you got it. You know you got it. 
right? When you know you got it, you, need, you, don't, you don't need to be advertising yourself because you know you got it. That is why the lion is the king of the jungle. Do you see the lion going around the jungle, scaring all the animals? No, the lion is killing, man. You know why? Because the lion is confident. The lion know what he got. The lion know who he is. That's why the lion is the king of the jungle. The lion is not, it's not the smartest, he's not the tallest, he's not the fastest. That is why he's the king of the jungle, because he's confident. Simple. And confident is simply something you create from within yourself by believing in who you are. Faith. That's, that's what confidence is. I believe in the universe a million percent. My, my trust, my belief, and my faith is bigger than the whole fucking system. You kidding me? 300 times bigger than the system. My reality is greater than, than the bullshit. You feel me? That's why you gotta make your life. You gotta make your life greater than the than the lie. Woo! Shit! Your life is greater than the lie. Okay? Your life is greater than the lie. Mine is. Why? Because I because I because I say so. The only meaning life has is the meaning you give it, right? It's not about being cocky. It's, it's about being confident. You gotta find the balance between being humble. I'm extremely humble. That's why I'm so powerful, because that, that is where your power is, in your humility. Humility is a superpower. Leonardo da Vinci said this, simplicity is the key to all acceleration. And to be supernatural, to have supernatural powers, natural, you're being natural, right? And supernatural, you're, you're more simple than natural. You're supernatural, supernatural abilities, supernatural powers, because it's so simple that it's supernatural. That's what it means. Supernatural doesn't mean that you gotta, oh, no, it is, it is humility. You wanna become supernatural? Be humble. But at the same time, you gotta be confident and you gotta, you know, balance the both. You gotta know when to use your ego, right? Your, your thinking mind to speak things into existence, but at the same time, you gotta live in your heart space because when your heart and your mind are in true alignment, your soul reveal itself and God is in the soul, baby. God is in your spirit. I expect the best so the best happens. Hope for the best and the best will manifest. Another thing that the universe wants you to know, right? So you can move on because every day we, every day we elevate. Every year we upgrade. Every night we do it right. Imagine if we're done. And if you've been doing it wrong, what's going on? It's never too late to do something great. It's never too late to do something great. And this moment, like every other moment, is a great moment if you know what to do with it. Now, in order for us to be in a constant state of awakening, which we are, we need to learn how to let go, okay? You need to let go to grow. Holding on <laughs> is suffering because life is constantly changing. So if I'm, if I'm holding to an emotion, an experience, a person, a place, I'm stuck in the past and, and, and life, life goes on. So holding on is suffering. We suffer when we're holding on because you can't hold on. You can because it's already, it's already gone. Se fue la guagua, it's gone, right? It's gone, baby, it's gone. So you can hold on. Holding on is suffering. Letting go is freedom, right? You're free. Letting go is freedom. Detachment is a must. Detachment is a must. You gotta drop it like it's hot, <laughs> because it is. You're hot. Detachment is a must, okay? And, and what is detachment? Detachment is looking at the bigger picture. You see unity? It's associated with your crown chakra, right? You being connected to everything that there is because you are. And detachment is associated with your soul star chakra, which is your A chakra above your head in your auric field. That's a state of detachment, illumination, right? That's the state that Buddha reached. Illumination, detachment, nirvana, that's your A chakra above your head because you are connected to everything, but you are choosing to see the big picture. You're removing yourself from the picture. You're not looking at, oh, this is me. No, 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 no. You're looking like, like you're not there. Something like that. So 
Holding on is suffering. Stop holding on if it's already gone. <laughs> Stop holding on if it's already gone. Stop hurting yourself. Holding on is suffering. Letting go is freedom and it feels good to be free. Letting go is freedom. Detachment is a must. Another thing. Very important in order for you to be in a constant state of awakening, right? And it is forgiveness. Uh oh. <laughs> forgiveness is an attribute of the strong, okay? Because weak minded people can forgive. Weak minded people can forgive. But you might say, okay, check this out. Let me make an example for you. Because a lot of people find it hard to forgive other people, right? They find it hard. But, okay, I, I get you. Now, do this. Instead of focusing your attention on forgiving what people did to you, forgive yourself for putting yourself in that situation. Let me say that again. Let's say, let's say something, somebody stabbed you, right, in the back. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never been back before. Only like, only like 15 times in one side. <laughs> but now I'm laughing about it. You see? Now I'm laughing about it. Oh yeah, now it's fun. Why? Because I forgive myself for putting myself in that situation, right? Now I know. Now I got the wisdom. Now it will never happen again. You know why? Because I accept. Oh, shit. Okay. You got to accept your mistake. You got to own your mistakes in order to get the wisdom. I got the wisdom. Uh-huh. And I forgive myself. And you see, by you forgiving yourself, you don't need to focus your attention. Oh, I, I forgive what they did to me. It's not about if it's not about forgiving them. It's about it's about forgiving yourself so you can move on, right? Because if you're done, you're always gonna be attached to that energy, right? And you need to be detached, man. You need to be you need to be, you need to be on your element. Stop holding on to people, places, things. They did this to me. And I'm get the fuck out of here. Nobody got time for that. We're highly advanced beings, you know. We're here to do great things. Woo! We're highly advanced beings, and we're here to do great things, supernatural things. We're doing them. But at the same time, life is a learning experience. Oh, I'm telling this to you, I'm, I mean, I'm saying it to myself also. What do you think? Yeah. Teaching is a great way to learn, and every word I speak is a reality that I create. Every word I speak is a reality that I create. Keep that in mind. Your words are powerful. Your words are powerful, okay? You can change your whole biology with the power of your words. I did. And this is proven. Deepa Chopra in his book, Journey into Healing, said that human beings are the only species that can change their biology by the, the, by the way they think and feel. You can change the way, you can change the whole thing around. You can change your whole entire world with the powerful, you can change your whole entire world with the power of your words, okay? With the power of your words. So always speak highly of yourself, my friend. Forgive yourself for putting yourself in that situation, right? Let's say, I, I, let's say for example, I used to hang out with some people, blah, 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 and you know, they backstab me and this and that, and Instead of me holding on to that, don't get mad, get glad. Now I got the experience and I say, okay, I, I forgive myself. If, if you find, if you need to forgive yourself, I got nothing to, I got nothing to forgive myself. Forgive myself. I always been keeping it real, forgive myself. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Forgiveness is an attribute of the strong, right? If you, if you gotta forgive somebody, forgive yourself for putting yourself in that place because you forgive yourself for not knowing you feel me but now you know if they, you see you 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 made a mistake but you didn't because you got the wisdom so what is the mistake there's no mistake there is no mistake you made a mistake and if you learn from it you get you get wisdom from it so there is no mistake because you turn the mistake into a wisdom you feel me that's what a magician does turn to letting to go baby turning hate into love for living Highly advanced being doing supernatural things. So let it go. Let it go. Okay, let it go. Let it go. Let everything go. So you can flow. 
Hi, I love you. Face the sun, face the light, and everything's gonna be all right. The sun is the source. The sun is the source. <laughs> the sun is the major frequency transmitted in the universe, right? So, take care of yourself, value your freedom, value your energy, and value your time, because that is who you are. Your heart is golden, your mind is brilliant, like the moon. What if the moon, have you been to the moon? No, right, me either. N neither Aldrin and, and, and Armstrong, that was some bullshit. They asked Armstrong, hey, so how did the stars look from the moon? And you know what he said? Oh, I didn't look. <laughs> so you're an astronaut, you went to the moon and you didn't look at the stars. That's full of shit, bro. Come on. Nobody has ever left this planet. No, not in that way. But that's a topic for another, for another day. For another video, right? What, so what if the moon is made out of silver? If the moon is made out of silver, we're looking at our planet. If the moon is made out of silver, I don't know. I don't know. If the moon is made out of silver, we are looking at the planet because silver is the most... It's the element that, that transmits the light the most. So if you're looking at, at the moon and the moon is made out of silver, you're not looking at the moon, you're looking at the planet. You're looking at the reflection of the planet. And the moon is a planet. I'll leave it there. Peace.